All right, so in today's notes, we're going to take a look at application. So it's the same material conceptually. Find the measure of an angle, find the measure of a sine, but it's all word problems. The two types of angles that they're going to mention in a word problem are angle of elevation at the top and angle of depression. So when we're talking about angle of elevation, the observer is looking up. Okay? So let's actually start with the observer problem. So here's the observer. He's looking up. So that's one part of our triangle. Let's actually make a note that the observer is looking up. But from their eye, right, their line of sight from their eyes, they're looking up. We're looking at that distance, but we also, too, need a level measurement, okay, from wherever you're taking that angle measurement from. And it's typically, if it's an angle of elevation from with a line of sight, right from your eyes. So you need also, let's draw in, you need that horizontal measurement, and then right from there, draw straight up and you have your right triangle. Okay, so the angle of elevation here, which I'll notice theta, is right there. And the two problems above, so the first application problem, uh, number one, is actually an angle of elevation from a point on the ground. So you actually have an angle of elevation aside from an observer, so from the sun, or a point on the ground. So let's take a look at the point on the ground here with the ramp. So an angle of elevation to the platform would be right here. You can't really draw it to scale. I don't have much room from the sun. So the sun's here, right? Have you taken a look at those shadow problems, height to shadow problems in algebra? So we'll get to those um, in geometry. But here's the sun. Okay, you're looking up. You already have the shadow. Your angle of elevation is here. So if angle of elevation is looking up, depression is looking down. So let's slide down. We don't have room to fit it all, so let's start here with the observer. So line of sight here, the observer is looking down. So from the hot air balloon, right, you can see that stick figure in there. So the observer is looking down at the object. You can use your ruler to connect. We actually connect it to the base of that object. Looking at some cash, okay. But here, the horizontal, right, it's, he's not standing or that person's not standing on the ground. So being up here in the balloon, the horizontal is going to be right here. And then draw it straight down to connect. Here's your right angle, and angle of depression is there. With the kite question, um, like they do from a point, you can think of the kite as the point. So we're here measuring down to the person. The, in drawing the horizontal from the kite, the angle of depression would be right here. So above that one row we skipped, so to a point on the ground you'll see either someone standing in a watchtower, as you see on the left, or in a lighthouse, looking down at a boat or an observer. So this actually did have a stick figure drawn in there, so if we draw one in each and we're looking down at the person. We need that horizontal right from your eyesight, so it's level right there from your eyes. Drawing straight down. And then from here, standing in the lighthouse, looking down at the boat. We need that horizontal from there. And right angle here. So let's take a look at uh, the first example. Picture's already drawn, so that makes it easy. And I think I pulled this from a state test. So it's shown in the diagram below the angle of elevation from a point on the ground to the top of the tree is 34 degrees. If the point is 20 feet from the base of the tree, so label your measurement, 
what is the height of the tree to the nearest tenth of a foot? So 20 feet from the base would be this leg of the triangle. And to find the height of the tree, that's the other leg of the right triangle. So I'm going to call this x. Which trig ratio are we going to use when we have the two legs of the triangle? Tan. Tan. So the tangent of 20, or I'm sorry, the tangent of 34 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. So the opposite of dividing by 20 is multiplying by 20. So go to the calculator, and we're going to do 20 tan of 34. We are rounding to the nearest tenth of a foot. So the height of the tree is about... How many feet? What's that, Emma? No? We look at the calculator of 13.49. That's okay. Check to make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Okay. So 13.5 feet. The next one. Bobby is holding... So I'm going to move this all the way up so we just see the picture. It says, Bobby is holding his kite string four feet above the ground. The distance between his hand and a point directly under the kite is 105 feet. If the angle of elevation to the kite is 65 degrees, find the height H of his kite to the nearest foot. And then part B, find the nearest foot how much string extends from Bobby's hand to the kite. So we need to find how much string X and we also need to find H. And looking at the right triangle that's there, if you want to highlight it. Based on that horizontal distance of where he's holding his hand, okay, to the point directly below the kite, what's that length? Or this leg of the triangle? 105 feet, good. That will allow us, so right now we could find x by using cosine. Let's do part A first though. How are we going to find the height of the kite? We can call this y, so how would you find h? h equals uh, y plus 4 is correct. Because y will go from here all the way down to here, and then we need to add in this gap, which it tells us to the left, is 4 feet. Which ratio are we going to use to find our y? Tangent. Tangent. Because we have, according to the angle of 65 degrees, y is opposite, and the 105 is adjacent. So we have the tangent... of 65 degrees equals y over 105. So multiply both sides by 105. Cancels that out. And 105 tan of 65. What are we rounding to here? To the nearest foot, what is the height of Bobby's kite? Yeah. Not 225. That's our x, or y in this case. Oh. oh. So y is 225.1732267. We still have to add in the 4 to get h equal to 229.17 dot dot dot. But to the nearest foot, it would be 229 feet. Good.
All right, now to find y. So what trig ratio are we going to use to find y without using x? Not to say you couldn't use x, but if you did use x, you wouldn't want to round, okay, to the very end. You just don't want to use it in case you made a mistake there. You wouldn't want to use that measurement to find another measurement. So if we avoid that, we would use cosine equals 105 over x. So you can multiply both sides by x or put this over 1 and do your cross product. So 105 equals x cosine of 65 degrees divided by the cosine of 65 degrees. And we get x equal 2. So cosine 65. And then I'm going to take 105, divide, go up, and highlight. So rounding to the nearest foot, 240, how many feet? Nope. To the right of the 8 is a 4, so it's going to keep it the same. So I'm going to write down the decimal, 248.4, dot, dot, dot. I only need to see the 4. And so about 248 feet of string extends from Bobby's hand. To the kite. So you should answer word problems in a sentence. All right, moving on, we're going to skip three and come back to three as a classwork, because I doubt we'll get to that sheet as well. So, and the reason being is, if you look at the picture in three, we've done something like that, correct? Yeah, the only difference is, is they're using the language to name the angle. Okay, and then we'll come back to this at the very end and I'll add it to the video. You will record it. Number four. Maybe one of you can record going over number three. All right, and number four. Standing on the gallery of a lighthouse, which is the deck at the top of the lighthouse, a person spots a ship at an angle of depression of 20 degrees. So within here, the deck, they spot a ship at an angle of elevation of 20 degrees. So let's draw the line to make our right triangle. The lighthouse is 28 meters tall and sits on a cliff, which is 45 meters tall. So the cliff, 45 meters, lighthouse, 1.8 meters. So that means this distance, and it's the same as this distance. What's the one leg of the triangle? Oh, it's 28. Lighthouse is 28. Why did I write 1.8? 28 and 45. 5 and 13, yes, 73. What is the horizontal distance? Um, and this distance as well is the same as this distance. So we can find x here. And which ratio are we going to use to find x? Tangent. So tangent of 20 degrees equals 73 over x. So multiply by x to get rid of it. And then we have x tan of 20. So divide by tan of 20. So 73 divided by tan of 20 degrees. And we are rounding to the nearest meter, that would be 201 meters. So the lighthouse and the ship are about 201 
meters apart. Number five. So from an angle of depression of 40 degrees, John watches his friend approach his building while standing on the rooftop. So let's draw a picture. Here's the building. There's John. His friend approaches. So let's draw the ground. Here's his friend. The rooftop is 16 meters from the ground. So from here down, 16 meters. And John's eye level is at about 1.8 meters from the rooftop. So from his eye level, 1.8 meters. What is the distance to the nearest tenth of a meter between John's friend and the building? So the angle of depression, so from here, John, or John's friend, from John to John's friend. An angle of depression, so from here, from his eye level, is 40 degrees. We're looking at the distance between John's friend and the building, but we know that this distance here is the same as this distance, so this is x. And then what's this leg of the triangle? 17.8. Trig ratio? Tangent again. So the tangent of 40 degrees equals 17.8 to x. <laughs> Last you. Multiply by x to cancel it out. So we have x tan of 40 degrees equals 17.8. And we are finding the distance the nearest tenth of a meter. So tangent of 40 and 17.8 divide by the answer. And we get 21.8. So John's friend is about 21.2 meters from the building. Okay, so Adam and Brian are standing some distance apart on the same side of the building that is 50 meters tall. From where Adam stands, the angle of elevation from the top of the building is 30 degrees. And from where Brian stands, the angle of elevation is 60 degrees. Now this question is asking, what is the distance between Adam and Brian to the nearest tenth of a meter? So the distance is x. So um, your first step would be to find the distance between Adam and the building which I'll name Y. So um, that you have Sokotoa. So -ka -toa. Um, and then you have the opposite from 60, which is 50. And then you have adjacent, which is Y. So that'd be tan. So we'd get tan of 60 degrees is equal to 50, which is the opposite, over Y. Now we'd multiply by y, and those would cancel. So um, y times tan, 60 degrees, equals 50. Then we divide by tan. And then y is equal to 50 the over tan of 60 degrees. And then that is oops, um, 28.8675. Um, now, our second step, since we have y, we now have to get the total length of that. So I'm going to name that d, 
and then d is x plus y. Um, so now we have this whole triangle here that we will be finding d for. So d is the adjacent, and then we have the opposite of 50. So that would again be tan. So it's tan of 30 degrees this time, because that's the angle here. Um, and then that's equal to 50 over d. And again, we multiply by d. d times tan 30 degrees is equal to 50 divided by tan. And then d is equal to 86.6025. Um, and then now, because we're solving for x, it would be 86, which is d, 0 0.6025 is equal to x plus y, which in this case is 28.8675. So now to get x, we subtract 28.8675. And then that leaves us with x is equal to about... 57.7 because it says to round to the nearest tenth. So um, the distance from Adam to Brian is about. 57.7 .7 meters. 